what's in the box? Hey everybody, it's Jason Dean with the Joe Blow Movie Network. Star Wars Mania is at an all-time high right now with news leaking almost every day about the oncoming Episode 7. So we asked you guys on the Joe Blow Facebook feed to chime in with your favorite characters so we could make this week's list of our top 10 favorite Star Wars characters of all time. Number 10 is our fantastic little metal buddy, R2-D2. Even though we don't speak droid, we always knew what he said and the kinds of emotions he tried to show us. And despite his stature, he was always looking out for the heroes. Power's back! That little droid did it! Number 9 is Obi-Wan Kenobi. My favorite Kenobi was the crazy old hermit version living in seclusion on Tatooine. But there's really nothing wrong with Ewan McGregor either. Both are awesome role models we should all have in our lives. A long time. A long time. I think my uncle knows him. He said he was dead. Oh, he's not dead. Not yet. You know him? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Number 8 is the walking carpet himself, Chewbacca. Just like Ben Kenobi, the oversized Wookiee is loyal to not just Han, but to all his friends. And he's the kind of co-pilot we need sitting next to us on our life's journey, whether it's in the Millennium Falcon or a Honda Civic. What? Uh, it sounds like Han. Let's do it just to save Han. <laughs> Platform. Dewey. I'm terribly sorry about all this. After all, he's only a Wookiee. Number seven is one of the only females in the entire Star Wars universe, or so George Lucas made us all believe early on. Of course, we're talking about Princess Leia, who is probably one of the best role models for strong females everywhere, and helped shape many of the strong, successful female minds of today. My hands are dirty. Too. What are you afraid of? Afraid? You're trembling. I'm not trembling. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. There aren't enough scoundrels in your life. I happen to like nice men. Nice men. Very nice. Say it, say it. Number six is taking a step back in time, or forward, I suppose, depending on your point of view. Darth Maul lands at this spot because he was a pretty damn cool bad guy, in spite of how underused he was. He was a high point of the prequels for sure, and left his own villainous mark on the newest movies. Number five is our original hero, the son of Darth Vader, the twin brother of Leia Organa, and the last of the Jedi as far as the movie universe was concerned. It's Luke Skywalker, the farm boy from Tatooine, who defeated the Emperor by single-handedly bringing his father back from the dark side when all seemed lost. Never. I'll never turn to the dark side. You failed, your highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. Number four is one of the riskiest decisions ever made by George Lucas, even more so for the time the movie was made. It's the Frank Oz voiced and controlled puppet, posing as the wisest, oldest master Jedi who was to teach Luke the ways of the Force. Who would have thought the green puppet Yoda would become essentially one of the wisest characters to ever grace a movie screen? Luminous beings are we, not this crude matter. You must the force around you. Here, between you, me, the tree, the rock, everywhere. Yes, even between the land and the ship. 
Number three is Boba Fett. Now, some of you may have put him at number two or maybe even number one. And arguably, he was far more mysterious prior to the prequels, which made him all that more interesting before we explored his entire backstory. Regardless, he remains a fan favorite and was arguably one of the coolest characters from any science fiction universe ever. Number two is who every young boy born in the 70s or 80s ever dreamed of being. Han Solo lands at the number two spot as the handsome scoundrel who was selfish, self-important, and always in search of money to make it by in the smuggling world. He answered to no one and lived by his own rules, and that's certainly what we all wanted as kids. I've outrun Imperial starships, not the local bulk cruisers, mind you. I'm talking about the big Carillion ships now. She's fast enough for you, old man. What's the cargo? Only passengers. Myself, the boy, two droids, and no questions asked. What is it, some kind of local trouble? Let's just say we'd like to avoid any imperial entanglements. Well, that's the real trick, isn't it? Our number one character had an extremely limited wardrobe, randomly killed people on a whim, and had a heck of a time with something as simple as breathing air. He's not just a villain, he could be referred to as THE villain from cinematic history. He's the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, landing as our favorite Star Wars character of all time. Gordons, you have only begun to discover your power. Join me, and I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. And that wraps up this week's Joe Blow Top 10. Thanks to everyone on the Joe Blow Facebook feed for helping us make the list. And be sure to tell us your choices down in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Joe Blow YouTube channel and help us reach 1 million subscribers. I'm Jason Dean. See you next time, and thanks for watching.